Hi everyone, we have some of the collection lined up here. We're doing a video that has been recommended, like it has been, people have asked me to do for a while. We're going to be testing the airflow of all of these machines, from the cheapest to the most expensive. Starting off with the Eureka Power Speed at $50, and then to the Hoover Total Home Pet at $130, to the Hoover High Performance Swivel at $150, to the Kenmore Pet Friendly Upright at 170, to the Dyson DC33, which usually goes for 180 to 200, something around that. Then jump to the Dyson Ball Animal, which goes for three to 400, depending on where you buy it from. And then the Milan, which goes for 600. So let's start the test right now. All right, so we're gonna test the Eureka first, starting from cheapest to most expensive. We have my animator. Feet per minute. Test the adapter that fits the best. Well, this one. Let's put it in here. Seal on. Power on. Stable reading, 2,157 feet per minute of airflow. Pretty good. Higher than the average. All right, let's move on to the Hoover. All right, so let's test the Hoover Total Home. Okay, that's a good seal. So the Hoover Total Home Pet's coming out with a quite impressive 2,419 feet per minute of airflow. So let's test the Hoover, um, what is that, the high performance swivel. All right, so next up, the Hoover Power Drive. It's not the Power Drive, the high performance swivel, I mean. It looks like the Power Drive, so, but it's different. <laughs> Coming out at a lower 2,083 feet per minute. And maybe also because the filter is kind of dirty. <laughs> I haven't cleaned the filter yet on this machine. But all these machines have decently dirty filters. You want to test them after they've been used, not when they're brand new. I cannot figure out why this hose won't go straight. Of course, the cord falls off. Alright, so let's test the Kenmore. All right, so here we go. Okay. To reset the meter, I forgot to do that. Quite impressive, 2,307 feet per minute of airflow. All right, it's pretty good. The highest is still the total home pet. Let's see if anyone can beat it. All right, time for DC 2,270 feet per minute of airflow, we the Dyson DC33. 
So, off to the Animal Pro. All right, now you're hooked up to the Dyson Ball Animal Pro, so here we go. Coming in at 2,307 feet per minute of airflow, the Dyson Ball Animal Pro. But that's not all for this. One second, we'll test it in a different spot. All right, so now connected to where the cleaner head goes on. Here we go. Coming in at a quite low actually, 2000 or 1867 feet per minute with the Dyson Ball Animal 2 out of Pro out of this spot right here. I don't know why the airflow on this machine is so low, but we shall test other machines and see why. Make sure that there's no seals that are not sticking correctly. But next, and, or next is the meal, and that's the final. All right, the seal on the bin wasn't set correctly. It was bent on one side. Oopsie me. So, let's test it now. Thousand four hundred nineteen, I believe that's our highest score. I have to go back and look, but that's more realistic. The seal at the back of the bin was not in place correctly. Let's see. So now let's move on to the meal. All right, finally we're with the meal. You can see we are set to smooth, which is the highest setting. We have a brand new bag inside, completely flat, completely clean. But the thing with the meal is we have to recline it to test the airflow because just listen, let's turn it on. All right, now we're on power pole, let's go to carpet. Hear that? The suction motor turns down. So let's find the best adapter, which is this one. See, it's not sealing. It's loose. So I don't know. Let's go to the other one. Now we'll try it like that. Oh, we forgot to turn on our brush bar. So now in carpet mode. Two thousand and forty-five, which is actually, I think, our lowest reading. On the why it's, well, I do know why it's so low. The motor in this thing is really small. I don't know why they put such a small motor in it. It's only nine amps, I believe. So the motor and everything else is much larger. Plus, it has no manual or automatic height adjustment. And I don't know why they did that. All it does is have a brush bar that moves up and down. It's not going to adjust for your floor type. So it does 
leave stripes and streaks on the floor. When I'm cleaning up finer materials, I would say for $600, it's a little, it does all right, but it's a little bit too expensive for the performance. So, if I remember correctly, winning by a decent bit would be the two highest machines when it comes to their performance would be the Total Home Pet from Cougar and the Dyson Ball Animal Pro with 2,419 at the hose and around 2,200 down here. I don't know why. I can't get my animator sealed down there. It's too uneven. I'd have to tape it and I just don't want to do that. It's too uneven. You know what it looks like down there on that little spot. So we'll go for what the reading it got at the hose. That's the most correct one. But I really hope you enjoyed this video of testing all these vacuums. I hope you thought this was informative and I will see you in the next one.